You got it? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Mute. Okay. <clears throat> so where we last left off, we're going to hang out with B and Angus to go find the ghosts. Yes. We're going to the possum The jump. graveyard and the possum stop. Yes. Possum jump. Yeah. Yes. We're not going to the historical society. No. That's that's bad. That's... Hey, Scaly. I know, right? Mm. It's beautiful. I'm very proud of us, actually. I know. We're we, never early. We were very fast this time. Yeah, we got it. We got our shit together. Yeah. Wait, what? Does that always say if? I think those are the creator's initials. Oh. I think. That's what I always took it as. Have they always been there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't actually know if that's what it is, but I always thought it was like a signature thing. <laughs> Sorry, Peanut. I know. We need to actually start on time. <laughs> like, not late, not early, but like, on time. <laughs> that's how planning works. We're not powerful enough. Like we're Mariah. Not, we're not Mariah. We can't just do it. We can't. We can't. We just have to fuck it up. <laughs> All right. Shall we begin? Or oh, do we want to wait a minute? Because we are because early. Because we're early. Okay, fine. <laughs> How was your day today, Melissa? Mm, it was exciting. Okay. <laughs> I had some chocolate milk when we got home. You drank some? Yeah. Mm. How much is left? A lot. Okay. <laughs> it was like half gone when I got it. When I looked at it. That's because Somebody I... else has been drinking the chocolate milk. And we just got that. It was me. Did you get yeah. any pie? I didn't get pie. No. I wish. Do you know it's pie day today? Oh, yeah. Were you just, like, going with the pie? No, I knew it was pie day, but I kept, I kept forgetting throughout the day. What's your favorite kind of pie? Go. Answer. Now. I like blackberry. What the fuck? Who blackberry with ice with vanilla ice cream. That was because a... You, you mix... That's not a common answer, I don't think. What? Blackberry? That's, yeah, blackberry? No. Or is it blueberry? It's blackberry. I like blackberry pie. Like the one at Knott's Berry Farm? Yeah. Mm. You, you have it with vanilla ice cream because vanilla ice cream is like plain enough that the... Chocolate banana cream pie is where it's at. That's the good shit. No. Yes. Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> I like, um... Ooh, nice, Kari. I like chocolate cream pie when it's really, really light and, like, fluffy. Okay, stop talking. Let's play the game. It's good stuff. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, same to Flair. Oh, I love chicken pot pie. Shepherd's pie? What is shepherd's pie again? Delicious. It's, mm -hmm. like, ground beef and, like, mashed potatoes on top. That sounds like something and I would like. peas. Oh, no. Not the peas. What? I peas are like delicious. It. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're just little peas. Please just start the game. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry pie, cream pie, same. Okay. Oh, good. The game actually saved. All right, cool. So, what are we doing? Seriously, Solar. We're talking to B and going to the graveyard. Are we're 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 at that point? Like we have we've talked to everyone. I think, I mean, that's why we... I don't know if we went all the way to the side, though. I think we we realized how long the last day was, and we stopped halfway through. Okay. I don't think we went all the way to the end. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Hey, B. No, we did. We, well, I don't know if we went to the end, but we got the fisherman, or the salvage guy adventure, and our mom adventure. Yeah. But we didn't go all the way to the end. Like, we didn't talk to the bird boy. Oh, okay. Well, let's finish talking to her then. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool! But also, maybe it might have consequences. 
we could take the insurance money and like not do this what if you get caught i saw a show where they caught someone doing that mm. you're going to burn this place down for me oh cool but also maybe i'd go to jail no you have no motive no one would suspect so work's not going well uh. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Nah, not today. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Uh, she's saying not today, though. Yeah. Is that a full can cancel? Or can we come back? I think we can come back. Because that would be weird if we full canceled. Oh. I mean, and if we do full cancel, it doesn't matter. We'll just what... reload. Well, no, we can just go do. Um... It's not a full cancel. Let's do this. All right. Okay. Well, let me know. <laughs> B is literally Rachel. Literally. Whoa, good job, Solar. Oh. Pro Hanzo. Oh, wait, we'll do... No, we don't want to talk to him yet. Well, do we want to talk to him and just reject him? Just, let's reject everyone. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Oh, he's much nah, shorter. Yeah, he, he doesn't even. Okay. Well, B had like a full, a full, I let's, know, B, let's burn it down. Yeah, B was ready. Casey! <laughs> Rachel! Oh, what? It's Greg's house. Oh, that's right. Is he not working today? Mm hmm no, he should be working. Oh. Oh, we. I think we can talk to that red bird. To the right. Oh. What's in the news? Yam shortage this Thanksgiving. Ah, jeez, we need the yams! Better get them now before they're gone. There's gonna be, like... Yam riots. Because not enough yams. Worse reasons. Look at that scary TV. TV. Mm. Do you like yams? I don't know if I've ever actually eaten... Like a proper yam. What do you mean? Like sweet potato? I've had tempura yam. How the fuck have you had tempura yam and not like I don't know. I just, we've yam. never really had yam at Thanksgiving for some you reason. You don't do the sweet potatoes with the marshmallows on top? A yam is a sweet no. potato, right? Oh, wait a minute. I think I had it when, when I went to your house. Yeah, my mom makes it. But yeah. I don't like yams, so I, I just eat I, the marshmallows. I, think I, tr I tried it and I liked it. What? There's a multiplayer Stardew Valley, and you can marry other players. Oh. I have to choose between Mariah and Haley. <laughs> How could I make this choice? <laughs> hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do I gotta tell you everything? No, no, just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. Hmm. Mm. I've never Ooh. been in here. They're going, they're like drama boys. Yeah, they are. Can we go anywhere else in here? <laughs> Very true, Fluid. No, we can't. It's just a way to get up to the, to the roof. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, she's 20. She can't go into the bar. Because that's a bar. Oh, that's probably that's why right. we don't go in there. Did someone write egg on the roof? No. Egg C. Hmm. Same, though. <laughs> How old do you have to be to go to a strip club? 18? I don't actually know. Whoa. Yikes. Where are we? The library? Hella birds. Chloe? Hella, hella, Rachel? hella. Rachel? Rachel? What? Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Um, hello. Acha-cha, hello. <laughs> wow! It's my jazz voice. Wow! Cause this is oh like, my god, this is you in an alternate universe how when is you play the saxophone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. How dare you. <laughs> I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring. I mean, do I need a reason? Then she, then she's going to say, I don't need a reason to be up here. Say exploring. Yeah. Same way I found it. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. Are you on stage a lot? That's not true. Ask uh, if... Yeah. Nope. Not for a long, long time, at least. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Wow. Are you gonna, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least, not anytime soon. No electricity. Probably structurally unsound. <laughs> Infested with rats and pigeons. <laughs> Thank you, DeFlair. I try to sound like a cool saxophone cat. That's exactly what That's cool exactly what cat a, sound if like. If a cat could play the saxophone, that is what they would sound like. <laughs> scoop up, doobie drop. Wow. <laughs> Other than the electricity that's like most of the town. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that it is, that it is. That's a trumpet. That's a trumpet noise you're making. How do you make a saxophone noise? Like that. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like the noise. What? I can't jump on the stage? Hey, it's closer. <laughs> huh. Pentagram. Hey, Harley. <laughs> Jazzy ASMR. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you like jazz? <clears throat> Do I know you? No. Oh. Aren't you Greg's cousin? You really look like his cousin. Not his cool cousin Jen. Like... The other cousin? No. Who are you then? Why are you here? I'm trying to find your city council. Town council? We're a town. Right. Why are you looking for them? Supposed to be demoing an infrastructure and municipal services management program. What? Helps you manage things like snow plows and broken hydrants and stuff. Oh yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figured it'd be helpful. I don't know. Lots of places are just scared of new things. Just want to keep things like they are forever. Falling apart. 
It's frustrating. You're really into this, huh? I mean, it's my job, so... I had a job. I bag groceries. Could you program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's all going to be robots anyway, so... Jeez, yeah. Huh. I got it! You're Donna's cousin! Yeah. She used to babysit me! Oh, wow. Are you the kid that killed a bird with her mace? She killed a bird with a mace. It was an accident, and now, I was like nine. Now time to find out whether it was a bird person. I know. Or a, or or a, a bird. Or a bird bird. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I thought it was perfume or something. I thought the bird would like it. Well, you were nine. It died, like, instantly. Just... Ah, woof. Dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. What's up, kid? How's it snacking, Falcon? Just kicking it. Drink too much chocolate milk! Me! You did! Uh, yeah. No, actually, that would be you. Um, because it was half gone. I was a thirsty boy. Listen. Remember when you talk about Mariah eating your ice cream sandwiches that you got for you? Do you remember at Trader Joe's when you were like, no, it's fine. Here, I'll get you this chocolate milk, and that'll be, like, your thing for going to Trader Joe's. Do you remember that? I also bought you chocolate peanut butter cups. For so 99 cents. So... Bad, bad it's boy. the thought that counts. And I wanted <laughs> the I chocolate wa peanut I butter cups. I needed the chocolate peanut butter cups. And I was throwing up. See, I saved you. <laughs> Come here, Bubby. Come here. Come on. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? When the light bulb delivery came, I had to sign for it while puking. Jeez, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Who's your good boy? Say hi, Digby! Say hi! Maybe can't speak English. Aw, oh, Digby. It was flew too close to the sun. The chocolate milky sun. So what's up? Just saying hello. You up for smashing some light bulbs? Did you want to check out the Historical Society? Wow, he has three choices. Wow. What's smashing light bulbs? That mini game. Oh, that's right. Is it just the mini game though? Because I feel like we don't really need to do that. No. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who is it? It's JP. Cool. All right, let's go find Bird Boy. His name is Germ. Bird Boy. <laughs> Maybe that's... No, wait, no. It doesn't make sense in my head. Okay. The heart of hometown since 1972. <clears throat> hey! Hey. What? Wanna hang out? What? Everyone just wants to hang out with us. Why does everybody love us so much? I got plans later. Well, okay. Well, I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. Nah. What? 
Yeah, sure. I think he's saying we can hang out with him without it affecting the other our other hangouts. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Digby! Do you know how to play video games? He's just looking at me. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Everyone's just hanging out. I know, today. everybody loves. Well, hop on my bike. Really? Where is it? Tied up behind the food donkey. I guess you could, like, run behind. Okay, fine. May is too popular. You sure your bike's gonna be safe? Well, yeah, I don't think anybody's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. It's cool. I feel so alive. Squids are cool like that. I skinned my elbow. I hit my head pretty hard. <laughs> Let's just skin our elbow. <laughs> I could, like, ride you to the hospital. For this serious wound. Put the siren on. Wee woo. What if wee he just woo. says the same thing to... Wee woo, wee woo! Why? <laughs> what if he just says the same thing for you hitting your head? Like, oh, I can just drive you to the hospital. Well, that would make more sense than this one. I, I know, it was... Never mind. <laughs> so what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Sure. Never thought about it before. <laughs> uh, well, truth be told, I have never thought about it I have never thought before. about it before. I don't know how well we know Germ. Okay. Bye. Oh my god, Germ! Oh jeez, dude. Hey! What the hell, man? Jump, it's fine. Oh, for real? Ow. Now our legs are broken. This was a mistake. Dude, you scared me to death! Why? You jump off big stuff all the time. You don't take fall damage in this game, May. You, I'm a bird also. I can fly, May. You were stupid to follow me, May. I just glided down. I was completely safe, May. You, you could have broken your head. It's Germ Aladdin. Yeah, but like, that's in town. Nice flat ground. Not like I can just go jumping off cliffs or whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot that you grew up in town. So what are we doing here? I come here a lot. Wanted to show you something. You hang out at a sewer pipe? Are you showing me the sewer? <laughs> Do that one. I thought you'd be interested. I mean, fair. We did just yeah, we go went through on garbage. a trash adventure. I saw like 10 rats down here once. Okay, that's pretty cool. Jumps off bridge after friend. Goes into sewer. <laughs> okay, so... They started coming down here a few months ago. To, like, just hang. Okay. And I noticed... Oh, hey, rabies. Ah! Rabies is my sewer friend. <laughs> <laughs> its name is Rabies. His name is Rabies. His name is Rabies. I found him when, he pull when they pulled that body out of here. After that big flood a few months ago. Oh, neat. He was sad and wet and hungry, so I brought him chips and ice cream. Sounds right. 
And I wanted the other possums to not pick on him. So I named him after something they're all afraid of. This is the best story ever. He's so rad. Hey, rabies. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna rule this whole ravine someday. You be nice to me, okay, rabies? I love him. You got any pets? I got some rats downtown. Sweet. Isn't it weird that she didn't bring up the bird in her house? Oh, yeah. So there's, like, weird stuff on the walls in here. Or the rats that she took care of. That's what she just brought up, though. Oh, I wait, what? Some... Was I not paying attention? How are... That's literally what How she... How did I miss that? That's what she just said. What's happening? Oh, oh yeah, that's probably her parents' pet. Oh, yeah, because germ is a bird. <laughs> so, there's, like, weird stuff on the walls in here. Ancient cave paintings. Not new, at least. What do you think it means? If you sleep here, you might drown. Rabies is trash king! Oh my god. That one. It's a prophecy. Written by ancient hobos. There's like... Okay. All kinds of secret places like this around town. I'm like the only person to really map the... Hey, rabies! What you got there? Oh my god! Wow. Is that a fiasco bar? Do you want me to unwrap that for you, guy? Holy effing crap! He is the best. You should take him home. No way. He'd pee all over everything. I'd dig a hole in the wall and live there. Oh, yeah. Rabies is wild. Let him be wild. Ah, look, he's eating it! Rabies is if Mariah was a character in this game. Literally. <laughs> uh, see ya! Mariah is the name we all fear. <laughs> Mariah, <laughs> Mariah is Rabies. Eh. Me. Did we visit Lori? Oh god, I don't remember. Well, let's go let's I, go I talk to her. I think we did. <clears throat> Who would you be in Night in the Woods, Melissa? Hmm. Ah, little King Trash Mouth. He's gay. <laughs> I'm the guy that gets mad at you when you take his pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> You're the pierogi man. It's here? Um, right? Excuse me. get up here again oh I see I have to come from that side wonder if I can
Whoa, who's this guy? What? Hey! Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? I know. It's me! <laughs> What's busking? I'm trying to sound dignified because it's a violin. I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you going... Are you going to give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. Cool. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. Is that your idea of a violin? That was my violin. Drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you, like, filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone. And I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. What's it about? Uh, what's it about? Um, later, Nan. Lady finds a window in her wall that wasn't there before. And it's like looking at her backyard, but it's always sunset. And there's a guy standing there she can't quite see. Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. Really? I am creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Where'd the idea come from? Where'd the idea come from? Yeah. I like a lot of horror movies that are really gory. But gory isn't always scary. So I was thinking of what's scary. And I don't know. You're at home, but there's something new. Or maybe you just never noticed it before. And there's someone strange very nearby. Is this foreshadowing? Probably. And I don't know. Hmm. What? Nothing creepy. All right, I'm off. See ya. Later. R.A.P. I like Lori. Yeah, same. Oh, yeah. Lori and Steph. So, are we just going to be now? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Did you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Beep boop 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 boop. Are we going to find what's his name from Daddy Dating Sim? Robert? The, no, the the gothic guy. Oh. Um what's his name? Damien. Yeah, when you had a date in the, Foggy. In the graveyard. We had a date in the graveyard? Yeah, remember? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then we run into Robert. Yeah, Robert's walking a dog. Yeah. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year-round. Well, 
there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So, we wait here. Yeah! And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb! Don't act like this is dumb! Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh... Things are, like, monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. <laughs> or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. That was some realness. Yeah. I meant like a skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night. A skeleton outside your window. I think it's scarier if it's in your house. Don't you? Yeah, I would think so. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night? Mm hmm. And he's got a knife. And he's whispering things. That one. Really? The whispering is scarier than No, the... it's funny. Oh. <laughs> and he's a health insurance industry exec. Okay. He wants to profit off your sickness and fear. What's he whispering? Complicated fine print. B, this isn't fun. And he's a ghost. Thank you. The whispering ghost of a, um, healthcare executive? All the things you're afraid of are boring. Mm -hmm. The scariest stuff is, like, really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice! What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. I guess we're, I guess we're following her. Yeah, we gotta look at graves. How do I look at graves? Well, I'm assuming you follow the path and then there'll be a grave or something. Oh. Well, I don't want to bother her. How do I... Where are the graves? I mean... Maybe we walk past her? Like, I know that the path splits, but... It's not letting me stay up here. Mm. Uh... Am, am I supposed to go that way? Oh, there. Oh. 
Rose, age 95 years. Oh, this is cute. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this. 95 years, wow, that one. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to look out the win- she had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of! She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run! Fourteen. Catherine Fish. Taken by flu. Fourteen. Ah, dang. Lived like fourteen years. That's not enough time. What's the next one? Poor family. Hmm. That's not enough time. I mean, it's both. What do you want to say? Yeah. Um. I would s You want to say poor family. Yeah, I want to okay, say poor family. Okay, I'm just sad now. Because, like, it is a short amount of time, but, like, the family I is think still it, dealing with it. Yeah, but I, I think it would have, like, given insight into be like, it's for, that's not enough time to do anything. Like, I'm only 20 mm. and this is this. Hey! Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have ya. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig the graves with a shovel? Uh, do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh, have you noticed that she's been asking about jobs? Yeah. I'm a wedding DJ on the <laughs> side. <laughs> I like this boy. I like him. This is you. It is me. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you. This hard. is me. This is you. <laughs> we found you. <laughs> Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Career idea. Grave digger. Brad Boysen. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess... He crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. He loved his bike. That one. He loved it so hard. He smooched it. So right. Imagine if on William's grave, <laughs> like, Joyce was like, you know what we need for the headstone? A truck. A truck. Let's put a truck a on the headstone. A 1972 Needleham Wheeler. <laughs> Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? Okay, come on. May. May. TikTok, Beatrice, we got places to be. Oh my god. Holy crap, I am a jerk. Really? really? You think, B? <laughs> I mean, May? <laughs> what if I just left her? <laughs> Goodbye. You're taking too long, B. <laughs> You're taking too long, bye. Also, we didn't even look at that many graves. It was exactly three. It was exactly like, three, May. May. And you had a very short conversation. Remember which graves were closest. Oh my god, yes. I 
need to get Mariah a glowing amulet. I need to show her this. That's amazing, Doflair. I just passed B. I just wanted to see what else was here. Can There's... we not look at her mom's grave? No, which is kind of weird. I feel like you should be able to. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. The six-year one is great. Hey! Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes? That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet, here we are. Damn night in the woods, go off! Yep. Ooh, what would I want? I would want one first year because a glowing amulet is cool. Ooh, a mysterious orb that grants wishes, but for each with which granted it takes a human life. <laughs> 1,000 li lizards. The head of a shared enemy. Yes. A flock of ravens. I want that one. Hot Topic gift card. Obvious. Enchanted Isn't dagger! It a murder of ravens? Or is no, it it's a murder of crows. Of crows. Mm. That's dumb. It should be both. Mm. Look! Enchanted dagger. Oh my god, the stolen hopes and dreams of a small child. Yes. And 2,000 <laughs> gallons of, 200 gallons of potato salad. I love it. All right. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices? Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out! You coming? Oh, yeah, sure. Murder of crows, conspiracy or unkindness of ravens, and a parliament of crows. Hmm. And a congress of baboons. Oh. Hey, Baku! Wait, wait. No, we're supposed to go find the noise. Oh, I thought the noise came from this way. When did it, where did it come she from? She said it was at the top of the hill, but, and she could hear it from... From her mom's grave. I am out of it today. I'm Melissa, like really what's going tired. on? Melissa! The time change affected me like the time three days after. I was My gonna... first day I was great. And now I'm just like really tired. What? What? Listen. It would only be nine o'clock. Try to go up that. Listen. Oh, no you can't. What? Um. So you just made me walk all the way to the end of the graveyard, April! I thought they wanted to look at the top of the... I thought she could hear voices uh, from her... She said she could hear voices from her mom's grave. Why would we walk all the way the opposite? Oh, you jump. Yeah, can you go up on that hill? Oh, oh now I'm allowed to do this. I, I wasn't allowed to do this before. You couldn't... You didn't know you had stuff to explore before. This is why I didn't realize there were graves behind me, either. None of them highlighted. 
It's this very rude game. Mm. What? What is this? What is this? Ooh! Oh, it's the it's the the raccoons. Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, wow! Hey, guys! Do you know these kids? <laughs> yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so... We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass. And who shall remain. Alright, well. Answer us these questions. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question! Have you ever done it? You could just call it sex. <laughs> that one. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are, at least... Answer! Yeah. I think so. <laughs> it was fantastic! Really? No, I'm very much lying. Oh, okay. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Ugh, you don't even know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? Oh my god. Math <laughs> camp? <laughs> What is math camp? <laughs> you go and do like math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top notch math though. This is boring. Next question! Geez, fine. Describe your dream date! These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date! <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool... Really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring! You! Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle, like you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna like watch wrestling? We go see wrestling. I could wrestle. <laughs> I could wrestle. That's more fun. <laughs> I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. Yes, May. <laughs> a true bicon. <laughs> But they'd have to be like, grrr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not grrr. Oh my god. <laughs> I love May. <laughs> so you're going to wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor. And tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. B, do you want to wrestle? <laughs> hey, B. Hey, B. 
I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer! One time I farted in front of the class. Ah! That's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. <laughs> uh, oh, God. One time in junior high. One time in high school. One time in college. I feel like it's more embarrassing the older you are. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Well, okay, it has the ability to be more embarrassing, but also, like, you're more capable of dealing with it, but... Because I, I feel I like middle school is going to be, like, something lame. Like, yeah. lo, like oh, I don't Yeah. I did something dumb in front of, you know what I mean? But then high school could also be High when school you're could most be, like, childish? when you're most, not childish, but, like, you have, like, I don't know. Well, when I'm saying by childish, I mean, like, you, you have the ability to work through things, but you're also really immature. You know what I mean? Maybe. Okay, let's do high school. You want to do high school? Sure. What's your most embarrassing thing? I think there was one time. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Is that? Ah! Oh, the third one is the good one. The college one? Yeah. I feel like that's more. Yeah. Wait, what's yours? I, when I, I got, so like, I got my period super early. Uh-huh. And in elementary school, I didn't know how to put on a pad properly. Oh, no. So, <laughs> oh, no. When we sat on, like, before we, before we left for, before we left class at the end of the day, we were all supposed to put our chairs under our desk and sit on the desk. And, <laughs> sit on the desk, and guess, guess what kind of stain I left because it had all gone through. It was really bad. I was, I was in, like, I was I was in like fifth grade and I was so embarrassed and none of my friends had started their periods. Like no one. Like I got to seventh grade and people were like, Ew, did you hear about periods? And I'm like, Yes. <laughs> I've had a period since I've I had was it, born. I've had it so long. <laughs> oh, that sucks. It was really bad because I didn't know how to handle it because it was like, uh, the heavy flow. <laughs> That's it was pretty bad. I can't oh. decide if that's worse or better than mine. Did I told you about the time I flashed a whole ship, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. When <sighs> when I went down the the slide on one of those party boat things and then I was like, yay! And I, like, came back up, and I was like, yeah, I'm great! And, like, the lifeguard just stared at me, and then all the people on deck just stared at me as I walked over to my <laughs> aunt, and then my aunt's like, oh, sweetie, and then she, like, pulls my bathing suit down because my tit was out, and I was like, oh, well, I mean, enjoy my boob, it's entire a, it's boat. A, it's a titty. It's a titty. It's a, everyone has titties. Everyone has titties. <sighs> I'd rather, I'd rather flash my boob than, like, bleed all over my elementary school I, desk. I was, like, so ill -equipped. April Boobberry! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did that for April! <laughs> no, do you want to know how to, you want to know how to get out of an embarrassing situation? Because one time when I was walking with, Mal or with Mariah's family, and it was really windy and my dress blew up, and it was just like, oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> and I, like, had to put my dress down, and I was like, sorry, I normally charge for that. <laughs> People find it hilarious, and it makes it way less awkward. So you just have to say, normally I charge. <laughs> wow. <sighs> all right, so are we doing high school or college? College. Or? Let's do college. Okay. All right, all right. There is it. A... Yes! Aww. Yes! There is this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria. Like a few times a week. 
I guess our schedule's lined up or something. Which is weird about college. It's like a little town. Cut to the chase! Jeez. Okay, so. He opened it. Ah. Uh. Hey, Mariah! Yeah. Get the, hang on. Bup, ah, Bubby went to go see you. Hang on. Okay, there. I'll be right back. There's turkey. Digby opened the door. Mariah's literally just playing Monster Hunter. She's gonna have completed that game. She's gonna have completed game. that game. We were like, I no, was no so... one's going to play Monster Hunter. I was like, no, what do you mean? Little did we Not know. Not interested in Monster Hunter. God. <sighs> okay, where? Headphones. Oh, and then also the turkey bowl's almost gone because Mariah just is that Mariah powerful. ate that much turkey? I don't... I'm, Jesus. I'm just saying, I went out there and I was like... Did you eat any turkey? No. There was a lot of turkey left. I know. That's oh why I God. said it was so powerful. Jesus. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on? Um. Okay, so... <clears throat> I got up the nerve to talk to her. And I followed her out into the hallway... And I don't know why, but I shouted, Hey! And she turned around, and, 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 all I could do was wave. Oof. I feel like that's cute. That's not embarrassing. That's not embarrassing. Wait, well, let's let it finish. All right, all right. This is funny. And, 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 and. And then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool. But I ran into this door frame right behind me. And it hurt. And I staggered back and, and, and fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. And my face went into trash spaghetti. <laughs> now, see, this is just funny. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's like. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I, like, flailed until the trash tipped over. And I got up, and the girl had, 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 she'd watched all of it. And I tried to give her this smile, like, I'd somehow meant to do that. But it turns out, <coughs> Ew. it turns out I swallowed, <coughs> oh, I don't like that. Some of the trash, spaghetti, and then, and I, puked all over myself like did this just oh, okay so she so she fell in the trash yes and she got out tried to smile but instead of a smile she puked no instead of a smile she like the spaghetti from the garbage went into her mouth and that was so disgusting she puked oh i see no wonder you came home Yeah, no, I'm sorry, Harley. It was <laughs> completely un <laughs> unprompted. I don't... <laughs> Am, okay, I'm good. I'm good. As somebody who is garbage, <laughs> I feel <laughs> I feel like this is a freeing story. Like, you can't do any worse. Right. So, you can so only go you up You can only here. go up. So you should feel super comfortable after doing that, because this girl has already seen you fall in the trash and puke and eat garbage. So... I'm really, I mean, if she is willing to accept you after that, I really, that's the moment. I, that's I, the one. I love it. See, it's a test. You know, way to, I'm proud of you. It's that, it's, it's, it's a, it's nice. It, I, 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 I believe. Oh, it's freeing. Oh, shut up. All right. Wow, that's messed up. Oh, God. Well, so you need to fix your cube. Okay, I'm good. I, I feel like I should just buy a new one at mm -hmm. this point. Or at least the new lid. 
No, I think no, the, I, the lid is what's broken. No, I think I fixed it. Okay, continue. But wow. No, it's like literally ripped in half. No, it is literally broken, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. I'm going to throw up. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> you have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. <laughs> Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it! Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. I hate everything right now. Forget it, let's go. So, like, <clears throat> ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah. So, you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because, obviously, it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like... Did you ever see my mom? Yes. Uh... When is this? We didn't see her during the game, did we? I don't think so. Or is this, like, in reference to anything else? I thought this was into the dreams. Let's or say, to seeing ghosts. Let's say yes. Isn't that fucking with her, though? How is that fucking with her? Well, I mean, if, if May she... Belie May believes it of these two. That's true. Well, just say no. Then say no. Because I feel bad if it's like... Not... Oh, yeah, I saw your mom. And, like, you know what I mean? I don't right. know. It could give her closure. Maybe. My grandma thinks that she keeps seeing my grandpa's ghost. But then she's like, he stole my $20 bill from the counter. <laughs> and I'm like, I, maybe you just misplaced it. <laughs> my, my sister always tells this story about when our great grandma died. I was only, I was a literal baby. Like I was one. But she apparently, my sister vividly remembers her visiting my window and like telling her like after like her Melissa dying. Like Melissa Etheridge. Yeah. Come to my window. <laughs> and and her basically. All right, come here, Bubby. And her basically telling her that it was gonna be okay, and that like death was a normal thing and stuff. Well, but apparently, my parents also back up that they heard my sister talking to someone. Well, I but mean, if they didn't hear the other person, then it doesn't count. It's probably just your sister being like, huh. Well, I mean, <laughs> hello. No, I, it was my also real a baby. grandma. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts? No. But I mean, I also don't know anything about anything, so I my opinion doesn't really matter. I'm sure like there's a ghost somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure there's a ghost somewhere. Like, there's in the been world. how many people? Like, there's got to be a ghost somewhere. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my grandma. Like, no. <laughs> Uh, say no then. Just say no. I mean, I can't really tell. See, that's, like, honest. 
How do you right. know? Maybe she really thought I, and she saw her. I mean, it's true. Maybe. My grandma thought that my grandpa I stole just, that $20 I, I, I bill don't... and then gave it back when she found it. Listen, I just don't like the idea of leading B on All that right. we saw her mom. And I don't think the ghosts were like, people? Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like... And then when you guys die, Solar could hunt your ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like... Echoes? Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here? Mm. Oh. Trust me, none of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang here. <laughs> That's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So, the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big-ass gate. Ugh. Why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out? And stop what you're probably going to do? Hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll never know for sure. Alright. Well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. Okay, so that's the gate. You gotta triple jump. No, no you don't. I think... Oh, whoa. Okay, that's the end of the rock. There's no way I'm going to leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice. Oh, we're reopening the gate. Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Uh... <laughs> Can I jump on the tree until it collapses onto the gate and then... It's just a bunch of sadness all around. Okay, so I can't go any farther than that. Um, maybe just jump on it, yeah. Can you knock the tree? Can you- Oh, jump on that branch at the top, like with Greg. See that one? Yeah. Yeah. I'm smart! That Did was you see me? That was literally my idea. I said jump on the tree. I didn't hear that. Oh I feel like God. I came up with it. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you. You're good at this. My back hurts. So, what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Eh, <laughs> brute force is code for crime. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna just look around. For ghosts? Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. I like them. 
Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. What would you put on your tombstone? Are you getting a tombstone? This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Mm, I don't know. I feel like I don't really care about having a grave or really anything. I'm like, I'll be dead. Do do what's best. <laughs> go, go do what's best. <laughs> I want to be cremated because it's cheapest, but I also like want a grave so I can just be like. Whenever people randomly go into graveyards, I could write something spooky on it. <laughs> so what, what am I supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be finding the ghost. But there's nothing else to click on. Mm. Enjoy bread soup, Solar. Jump, maybe? I can't jump. Oh, now now I can talk to her. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is is that what you were expecting to happen? Oh my god, literally to flare. You skipped. This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Uh, whoa, dude. Hold up. No. Wakey, wakey, little Joe! Jump on his grave. Okay, that didn't sound right. Ooh! Holy shit. Holy shit! What did you do? You were right! About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes! We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Rachel! <laughs> Wait, is that... Yeah, that's a coffin! Oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. <laughs> yeah, I might be dead, but you can never bury this dick. <laughs> <laughs> we got more of Mr. Miranda situation going on here. That is literally me, my gravestone. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. It's going to be empty. The handle. May. I'm scared. I'm scared. What is it? It's a, it's a dead guy. Ah! It's just a cat. Ah! I love that you were afraid. <laughs> Of a I, cartoon animal game. I, I wasn't sure what it was going to be. <laughs> so what? Foul play? Oh, hey, it had a scar on his head. Like how the mom was saying? I thought that was the back of his head. Oh, you're right. Who knows? 
We're detectives. He was number one. <laughs> We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So, there's someone back there watching us. Oh, God. I don't know where they went. Just, like, out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know. But we need to leave now. It could be the ghost! It's probably just the grave digger. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Oh, shit! It's that boy. Did you see that? It's that boy. That boy. Huh. <sighs> well, that was weird, huh? Weird. That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there! How do you know the ghost is a dude? Mm. Okay, fine. But he was there! May, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Oh, I saw the effing ghost! We saw someone. There are other people in this graveyard, you know. Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Dude, it was totally the creepy dude that took the kid. Did you see? Oh, yeah. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must be avenged. Saw him. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be. But that was because of my job. Your job don't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you and your mom went out on an adventure today. <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. Aww. Aww. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. We stopped watching TV with our dad. We did. And we're clearly not going to be home for dinner tomorrow because we're going to go talk to Angus. Yep. Is that like an option? What? To come home and just say for dinner? I don't know. Are we going to have a spooky dream? Spooky Mormon hell dream. Oh, there's our trash. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? May, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which one says it's the ghost? I would think it'd be the question marks. Okay. 
I thought you believed in ghosts. I do, kinda, I think. Why couldn't that have been a ghost? I just don't assume every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. Am I a ghost, May? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Just haunting me forever. I'd make you learn how to drive at the very least. But anyway. How could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah! Fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. <laughs> okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep. You need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery. And we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or, you know what I mean. Whoa! And it was, like, effing nuts, man. Did you see her ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job, I like all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, brah. <laughs> <laughs> Good night is F. I like Greg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We do have our trash. And our, our, uh, vampire teeth on the ground. I know. Literally, Deflare. We picked good trash. Bedtime? Yeah. Yes. The days are so long, they feel like real days. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Is it gonna be a thing where it's like May starting to put this ghost narrative on it, but it's really like B said it's scarier because it's, it's life. Because it's real and yep. because it's something as boring as just like a murderer. <laughs> yep. Excuse me. Where are we? Space? It's zooming out on something. Ooh. Hello? Casey? Casey? Is that the ghost cat? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here that I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Yeah, I would say that. Mm -hmm. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then and here now. 
and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. Mm. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. What? A tear? <laughs> uh, let's do that one. With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Ooh. Ooh. What? Bugs? It's bugs! Ah! Oh god, oh god! They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? Uh, why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? My home mm -hmm. and my friends. I don't give a shit about leaves. Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Love nihilism. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, nihilism is specifically you saying, is it, isn't that saying the universe means nothing but you're sad about it? Or is that... No, I think it's just, it just doesn't mean no, cause, anything. Because there's different, there's different versions of it. There's, the universe means nothing, and then there's like, you feel bad that it means nothing, and then there's... It means nothing, so you're happy about that because it means you it's, can do whatever you well, want. And then there's well, no, that's just different types of nihilism. Well, nihilism in itself were... is just the the 
skepticism that life means anything. It just is like, oh, life is meaningless, so oh, okay, whatever. See. And then you can be like nihil. I feel like you can be like nihilistic in a positive way or nihilistic in a negative way. Oh, okay. I thought there were different words for your take on it for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because, like, that could be taken both ways. It's like, it's like a, oh, the universe means nothing, so nothing matters, or the universe means nothing, so nothing matters, so I can do whatever <laughs> I want. Like, it can I be mean, ta- in the grand it scheme can be taken of things. Both ways. Morning. At the pickaxe if you're in town e center today. Or town center. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey dude! It's old Snalkin! Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot understand, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Society. I think the real ghost is, um... The friends we made along the way. Ag- Agnes? A- Ag- Agnes? Who is Agnes? No, the bear. What's his name? Angus. Angus. The real, the real ghost is Angus because it tells us there's a new message with the notification and then it's just his away message. <laughs> As the great philosopher Anna Montana once said, life's what you make it, so let's make it right. (laughs) So I wonder if it's the last day then, if we can only do one more. I wonder if that means today's the last day. I have no idea. Or if something really big happens tomorrow that we we can't do the third one. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. The plot might just progress. Yeah. Bird. I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. Did you check the bookshelf? Yeah, I did. Honey, you okay? Uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Well, honey, is that why you came home? (laughs) No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You are a miracle baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then, there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... I'm not pregnant! I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. (laughs) I like May's eye. You know, if you did have a baby. Okay. I'm out. (laughs) Okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I just get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. 
If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh my god. Oh god, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her... Trash Baby? Cordelia. Cordelia. Cordelia Chase. Cordelia. Oh. I love her. Why don't I just have a baby and then hand it to you? Ooh. Okay, bye. I'm leaving. Greg is short for Gregnant. <laughs> Mom being elbow deep in co does not make a girl pregnant. I love May's mom. Same. What if the whole town falls into a sinkhole and that's how the game ends? Like, life is strange. Yeah. Rachel! Only you can't save the bay over bay. No, you save the bee. <laughs> oh, yes. The town is the sinkhole. Hey, May. You all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like... You went through the dryer. On the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report. Life is too short. Haha. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great. But life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up. They did. Yay! Chazakov's up there again. He ever like drop that telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. Torbjorn? <laughs> <laughs> I think we know what voice we should have given him. Oh, God. Too hot for ya! <laughs> Too hot for ya! <laughs> Completion date! <laughs> and it's done. Hard work pays off. <laughs> he has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. He visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. Oh. That's like a real thing. Did you know that? Feeling it in your bones. Like, like, um, old people feeling like it's about to rain or something. Yeah. Because it has something to do with- Because their joints hurt. Yeah. It has something to do with, like, the humidity and stuff. Mm. Hear me, baby? Hold together! <laughs> Torb is a daddy. God. Oh, God, I don't know. You made me tired. <laughs> now I'm tired. I'm just 
falling asleep. Do you want to, like, do you want to go through the town but leave Angus for tomorrow? Oh, you mean, oh, okay, so you mean... Like, like, go through the town, go but, through like... Go through the whole town and then... Because especially if something crazy big is happening, like, do you want to save that for, like, a fresh start? I when mean... we're not yawning every two seconds? <laughs> I go. mean, it's up to you. Like, go. I'm fine with whatever. Go. It kind of just depends on if this day is, like, the, um... What the fuck? God damn it! Oh my god. How about we see how we feel? Alright. We'll see, because if it's like a day like, um, yesterday where everybody wanted to do stuff, mm -hmm. then it, then whatever, then it's going to be much longer. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, this one's like bees day, so like, yeah, we're going to, I think we're going to not be able to do Angus. Maybe. Bees day? Yeah, B, like the day. Like to like the day that we just did. That's what this day is like. Remember? Oh. Yeah. Oh. You get what I'm oh, saying? It I was like it. it's it. like two it. hours. I see. Do you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I'm saying I'm I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. I see. Alright, let's keep yeah. going. Go for it. Me. Mr. Chazikov, you look a bit worse for wear today, May. It's funny you're noticing that his his uh, telescope is in fact a turret. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kumo. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars. You know it. Come, have a look. Hey, May didn't freak out. She learned. May didn't look. That was fast. I think I got one? Let us see. Ah, yes. Little Le Mis boy. <laughs> Cole, the mountaineer. Cole. Knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. The mid this Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains. And devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat. Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up. Yeah. Not really. Uh, I guess. Unless you grow up somewhere cool. Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Cole? He returned home. And complained that sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds. And now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> Are you super dying? No. Yes. <laughs> I blame you. I mean, fair. I like Mr. Chazikoff. Yeah, he's cool. I like this. Gotcha! Ooh. Which one is this? Ah. Creepy alligator man. Adina Astra! <laughs> Hello! Wah! It looks like the, the ghost. Uh, kind of. Not really. The ghost doesn't have a crocodile mouth. You know this one. Yes, I know this one! It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How oh, she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head, and how she was never seen again. Yeah. Whatever. Is that not the sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. That one. She probably went somewhere else completely. And did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so, whatever. Oof, that's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go to the church first. Oh, yes, yeah, smart. I did! And then I also heard about how apparently they were getting calls from her, but they didn't respond because they thought they were prank calls because... Oh, my God. Back in the day was the worst. Oh. Wow. There's a whole town meeting in here. Because there will be children here! And this is a historic church! That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours! the population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. And uh, not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right, right across the street. Kate? Katie, it's our number one job right now. To bring businesses into town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can. To get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. Eh. You have a good heart, Kate. 
thank you all for coming. You, you guys are the worst. Please leave my church right now. I'm trying to be a good person and you're all assholes. Ugh. Stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever, it's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I'm just curious. Is it serious? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. So, like... Things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? It was a dream. I don't think it was a dream. That one. Oh, wow. That happens, right? Or, like, happened? Sure. Can you tell me about it? It was in this desert. It was like the shore. Hmm. I like the shore more. Yeah. Of this giant black ocean. I could see, like, forever into the sky. And below it was just sand, as far as I could see. I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something. And I came up over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God, just sitting there. Up on another hill. Or dune. Whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They like didn't care. They were kind of a jerk. I was going to say they didn't care. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they didn't care. In general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were. That people kept coming to them with questions. And annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God... You should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing. And it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about how nothing matters. Uh, I mean, they kept talking about the giant hole, but I feel like the that's my chair, boy! He took your spot. But ultimately, the message was... I'll nothing let you... Matters. Yeah, you pick. Do nothing matters. Yeah. Like, the universe is ending. And everything is being forgotten. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes. Um... What do you think? I mean, we've actually been hanging out with B and Greg. Yeah, I was gonna say, May's had a very social time. Yeah, May's been, like, super social, but she could be very social but still feel alone. Yep. yep. What do you think? Mm, no, I think May's fine. Yeah. Let's do no. No, I mean, I've got friends. I've been with them every day since I got home. But, huh. There's this deep down lo- Yeah, I figured. Yeah. There's this deep down loneliness- 
Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. <laughs> I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our life. <laughs> are, you, are you doing okay? <laughs> if, we, if we open ourselves up, God can en- God can enter. <laughs> Why? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Most effectively. Just move it closer to you. Oh, that's actually a lot easier to do. Thank you, Melissa. I'm so happy. <laughs> I guess. I don't think I believe in God anymore. That one. If you want the truth. I think everyone doesn't believe in God. For at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a god? Like, literally, someone up there listening? These legs are only open for Jesus, I yelled during Valentine's Day. (laughs) (laughs) Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times when I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday. And tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Mmm, pie. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe. In something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor. And you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? Me. When you're asking what is the point of Kate, who's having a I terrible feel like, day. I feel like Kate's actually like a really good pastor. Yeah. I don't even like religion. And I feel like oh, she's doing she's doing what yeah. she can. Yeah. She's trying, I guess. Mm-hmm. I have to go. Shepherd. Okay. Well, train. That is literally what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, that's literally what she's that's doing. That's literally what I'm doing. Yeah. Hey, Han. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hun. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday, it's full then. I bet it is. Everyone's a phony. Mm -hmm. Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. Me, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. Aww. Aww. 
May, May Caulfield. Hi, I'm Max Caulfield. I'm 18 years old, and I go to Blackwell Academy. Oh, that's right, the trailer. It's the best trailer ever. <laughs> Catcher in the Rye was basically Holden Caulfield whining about how no one was innocent anymore. Yeah, I couldn't really get into Catcher in the Rye. I read, like, the first hundred pages, and I was like, eh. <laughs> I don't feel, I, it was too much complaining. Wow. I mean, it is. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. I think if I had read it when I was younger and more ranty... Mm -hmm. then I would have been way more into it. He's just kind of annoying. He doesn't do anything to help. He just complains the whole time. Yeah. Only children are in it. I wish I was a catcher in the rye so I could just catch <laughs> that rye. <laughs> catch and rye. Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Is he gonna commit suicide? Are you leaving? That one. Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Oh, yeah. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll all have a sign. They'll have a He's sign. He's committing that suicide. Yeah. This is... This is suicide. This is, this suicide. is not... This is not a real train. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. Or his whole family died, and he's gonna go join them. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce! No, May! Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's... that's I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. May, look at the fine print. <laughs> <sighs> well. Well, bye, Bruce. Let's go try to tell the pastor. I don't think we'll be able to, but let's try. Oh, and we were just shitty to her. Yeah, she's gone. Look at all the rats. I feel like those weren't there before. 
Hmm. You see him? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, of course. We've started a rat infestation. We have. <laughs> We've destroyed the town in a slightly smaller way. We have. I want to see if there's any new dialogue. Nope. No. We've we've just caused a shitload of rats to inhibit this yeah. town. Where's Lori? Is that where we're going? Oh no, this guy. Still up here? I mean I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. Why? Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult. Nothing. Sounds good. Was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you wanna come? Sounds good actually. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Wait, everybody does that. Greg? Yeah. May? No, Lori. Mm hmm. Let's go. Totally, let's. My friend Casey used to come out here and smoke. I used to smoke when I was younger. I'm allergic. Oh, really? Okay, it was once. I was younger, though. I was 12. Good age to quit. I could vape. You could vape. I'm not gonna vape. Probably a good idea. Um, so, do you remember the thing we squished on the tracks last time? Uh, yeah! What are we doing? Gonna make it flatter? Kinda, but no. You'll see. I'm gonna pick a new thing to squish him with. Alright then. Oh, are we gonna make a penny? You know, like the squishy pennies? Oh, like yeah. Like she found something with an imprint? Yeah. You know what we don't have around here? A taco place? Serial killers. Oh, yeah. Hmm. About that. I might have seen one. <laughs> I mean, I'd vote for us getting a taco place first, but... Yeah, we never got around to getting our own serial killer. You ever think about murdering someone? Like, okay, so... A few longest nights ago, I went to Bright Harbor with my aunt and cousin. And we went on the subway... And, like, there's no railing down there above the tracks. And I had this sudden urge to, like, shove someone off it. It was weird, and I felt guilty about it for a long time. But, like, I didn't actually do it, so. I mean, is that normal? Lori has intrusive thoughts. Yeah. I think that's pretty normal. I think it's also, like, the thing where I feel like everybody has a, a feeling where they're like, oh, I could do anything. Like you, you How many randomly... times have you thought about killing me, Melissa? How many? <laughs> How many times? It always crosses my no, mind. No. Just... Stop it. I think but that's... like that thing, say, when you're like, when you're either like driving in traffic or you're like. I love how you're, you're like, it's completely normal. It's so normal. What do you mean? So no, I've I wanted to, like, run you this. over with my car. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you get that thought, like, like, the other day when the, when, like, you're in the turn lane and there's a car that is coming at you and you're like, oh, like, anybody could do anything. Yeah, like, I know, know what, what you're talking, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, one, one of our friends had intrusive thoughts. Oh, yeah. 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 And she would be like. Yeah, I just thought of, like, pushing you off the cliff. I'm not going to. And I was like, yeah, it's a cool. Just let, let it all out, I know. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I 
I guess you actually did try to kill someone. <laughs> Melissa <laughs> imagining casually straight with it. It's literally the scene of Homer Homer where he like chokes Bart. <laughs> That was different. Oh fuck, I clicked it. Here, she, look on it. No, she said I guess you did actually did try to kill oh, okay. someone. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Melissa looks at him. I could just push her out. <laughs> uh, what was the other one? That was different. That was different and no I didn't. That was different? I would say that was different. That was different. How? That was, like, not planned. And I wasn't trying to kill him. It was just a thing that happened. So, yeah. It wasn't, like, my first step on the way to serial killerdom. Sorry. If I kill her, then I'm the one who gets all the chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, tiger. <laughs> it's cool. You know what I like? Tacos. Pictures of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. Who's a good boy? Who's a good puppy? Where the dinosaurs are watching it in the sky. Oh, yeah! That's like every single picture of that meteor. Weird. Wonder if they knew. I like that little detail of them moving their feet off the tracks. Yeah. Lori's morbid me is just hungry. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we got. Yay! Oh god, your little dudes are... It, like, hurts my soul. It speaks. The art speaks me. It calls my name! Uh... That was cool. Yeah, it was. I gotta get going. Things are, like, hectic right now. Oh, what's up? Uh, jeez. Just, like, be careful, okay? How so? Like, go home at dark. There's some bad stuff going on. Like what? Oh, God, I don't even know where to start. Just, like, be careful. All right. Thanks for the warning. About whatever you're warning me about. Warn Victoria. Warn Victoria. Don't mention it. Oh, look. Laters. Hmm. Even more smash. Oh, that's what that drawing was. They melded them together. Remember when we didn't know what that drawing was? Oh, uh, yeah. Go for it. Hmm. Used to sometimes see other people up here. Is this not a thing anymore? Am I just old and out of touch? Whatever, it's awesome. I'm gonna put up a tent and camp out up here. We'd definitely roll off and die. Hi. This is going across the Me 
<laughs> go back real fast. Am I out of touch? No, it is the children who are wrong. <laughs> Nice try. How dare Rosa not be here? Ha, nice How dare try. she leave me? The youths. The youths. So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer. Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here going missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think I we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulvey. Mmm. Mulvey? You know someone from Mulvey? Yeah. Do you know where Mulvey is? Do you know what Mulvey is? No. I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? He don't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulvey? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to get back in the sun now. Same. What's Mulve? Let me go back and talk to B. Yeah. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof, what are you up to today? Wandering around town. Whatever you wanna do! <laughs> say the... No, wait! Why didn't you say the one... Whatever? Because she's clearly wanting to hang out. Who is? May. Oh. That's oh. clearly a hangout option. Yeah. But we don't want to end the day. I don't think we would end the day with B because are we already... Are you sure? Eh. It's okay. We'll be safe. I mean, we can just talk to her if that's not the case. Mm. Mm. Which way? Are you? Sorry. Oh, I'm. I was gonna ask if you were googling yet or not. Oh no, I was reading my email. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> Okay, so this is just we say no to him. Yeah. Hey, me. Hey, dude. 
Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. Oh, oh, wow, we can't even... Oh, I think today is, like, just a friend day, and then tomorrow's the Angus day. I see, I see. Casey! <laughs> also, question. What are your thoughts? On stopping. On stopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we'll, we'll Let's stop. Let's go talk to that guy. Oh, wait. What's in the news? A coyote wandered into a stack falcon out past Brittle. Just like walked in? Yep. Sat in the sandwich cooler. Did it eat a sandwich? According to this, the coyote just stared at the cashier. That's spooky. Coyote's a spooky animal. I saw a coyote once in college. <laughs> I was I was walking around because I was working on my homework really late and I needed to get up and walk around oh, for fresh air mm -hmm. and there was a coyote. Oh. It's pretty cool. Is there something that I... Where is the... The one boy? Huh. Oh, well. Go for it. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table! Ha 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 ha. And she goes, Why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both danced on that table. Nearly broke the damn thing. Huh. Somehow, I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. Ooh, peach pie and vanilla ice cream. That sounds bomb. Sup, Duder? Hey. How are you holding up? Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. I saw some space bugs. Ooh. That one's funnier. The space bugs? No, I met God. Oh. <laughs> I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Huh. Yep. That's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushie? To replace the idea of a caring god? I can throw in some chips. Haha, <laughs> I'm good. So, what's up? Just checking in. You are checking officially. I check thee. Okay, we should stop. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I All like right. Greg. We... We're almost there. We Where? just need to walk to Bird Boy. Oh, and then we will have gotten everything? Yeah. Oh. That's it. Then we walk into a room and save. Excuse me. Whoa. What's that guy? I don't know. Hey. Hey, Angel. Oh, hey, Angel. This is my friend, May. Hey, May, what's up? Cool name. Gracias, much obliged. The angel's just in town between trades. Going west next? Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Oh, a dirty, a dirty birdie. What a dirty birdie. A dirty birdie. Down to the gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. I know. Hi, Bobby. Have you heard anything about a ghost in town? Have you met anyone? Ask about Casey. 
Hmm, let me think. You know what he or she looked like? He. He looked kind of like me, a little taller, orangish hair. Nah, man, I don't recollect. But I've seen, like, a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. I tell you what. I'll ask around, and if I find him, or someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Prossum Springs is looking for him. Thanks. That means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world. Run by the worst people. And good men die for God knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Come here, Bubby. Yeah. Thanks again. What's traveling like? It's good, it's good. Never could stay in one spot. I have, like, the exact opposite problem. Alright, Pandra- Alright, alright, partners. Time for me to shove off. Uh, see you, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. Uh, well, that's over. No fun? No fun. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost germ. A real-life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts are the thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Ooh. Jeez. Welp, dinner time. See ya. <laughs> womp womp. Alright, well. All right, let's walk to the fence. Okay. <laughs> I love how you're like, I'm gonna see something at this fence. <laughs> <sighs> how did he get over this thing? I can't jump that. No way he could have. There's no hole. <laughs> How did he do it? How did he There's do it? No There's hole. no hole. <laughs> I mean, I guess he could really be a ghost. I think he's a ghost. Ugh. What's out there? All right. Let's walk into B's shop and Let's save. See. Come here, Bubby. Hello, my little bubs. Hello. Yes, yes, pets. All right, let's take a save. All right, good, good game, guys. It was. I'm excited for the crazy shit that's gonna happen. Yep. I don't think it was a good. I, I think it's a good idea that we stopped because. Yeah. You know what I mean. Uh huh. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Yes. Next time, the crazies. Yes. I know. It's literally not even 10 yet. We're babies. What's going <laughs> on? Uh, I, I don't... I genuinely don't know why I'm so tired. Yeah. I think I just haven't been sleeping good. Yeah. All right, then. All right. Thanks, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Later. Enjoy Pi Day. Yes. Bye. Bye.